talking about said hunts today we're going to be taking these three items down to cex to get their in-store credit and you will not believe how much they pay for them so now we have a psp 1002 console with its official charger fully working we have just dance 2019 on the switch and a playstation 2 controller now i got all of these from a midweek boot fair and the psp trades in for an insane 63 pounds and as you can see it does go for 53 pounds if it is the discounted price and it might be that because it does have a few scuffs on the screen and as you can see the playstation 2 controller trades in for 12 and just dance trades in for 10. the psp works absolutely fine as does the playstation 2 controller and the switch game obviously is fine as well so we're going to take these down to see let's get the in-store credit and see if we can find anything to add to the collection so See down CEX, see down some charity shops, see if we can add to the pot, and I'll see you when I get back. We managed to find some pretty good bargains at the charity shop, so we've just arrived at CEX now to trade in the PSP and the controller with the Just Dance as well, and just having a look around, and I've never seen a case like this for Sonic Mania on the Switch, I think that's pretty cool, but I know what I want to get from the CEX, there's a few loose Game Boy carts that I want to grab, so let's head back to the games room where I'll have a second pile of games to trade in. So just at the top there, we've got Spyro on the Super Nintendo that trades in for 13. We've got Hello Kitty and Friends on the DS that trades in for 5. Little Mermaid, I think that's like 160. WSC Real 11, I think that's also 160. Bratz, also 160. And LMA Manager 2007 at the bottom there, which is also six pounds. So we should be getting roughly between 25 and 30 pounds for this lot for about a 10 pound investment we're going to take it down to cex and yeah we'll have a look around see if we can get anything cool we're also going to stop off by game and the local game shop to see if we can add to the pickups and i will see you when i get back just in the local game shop A really good price. I'm gonna grab that 15 quid. It's really good. That seems pretty cheap. Lego rules uh, only 10 pounds. Same on all consoles, but I'll probably get the switch to be honest. So let's have a look. This is pretty cheap 15. That's a digital code. I think that might be a digital code as well. But two for 20, that's pretty good. Not all of the digital codes. Most of them are though, so you have to look out for that. But for example, this isn't. This isn't. So it's two for 20 on that physical copy. Uh, most of them are digital codes, so you gotta look out. That's how they get you. How much are the games over here? Two pound each? No, they've got nothing on them. Two pound each. 
later. So it's the next day now and we were able to grab some pretty cool games from game CEX, the local game shop and the charity shop and the games I've got from the charity shop are just here. That's the Evil Within 2, The Sims 4 on the PlayStation 4 and Injustice Ultimate Edition on the Xbox 360 alongside a double which we already traded in yesterday which is the Little Mermaid on the DS. Now, when I got to the till, you would have overheard the lady when I asked how much the games were. Uh, she said they were £2 each. But when I got to the till, they only charged me £2 altogether. So I managed to get the three games at the bottom there just for £2. And The Little Mermaid cost a pound. So all these three only cost £3. And we should be getting around £15 exchange for the four of them. And we also have an £11 voucher left over from the previous trading which i'll show you the receipts in the pickups and yeah we'll go down to cex to see if we can find any cool retro to add to the collection so i'll see you down cex and i'll see you when i get back just waiting for the gates to be traded in that's cool i've heard that so many times not much here. Just these two. Interesting. Down here. Dear God. So I have grabbed a game from the glass cabinet just here. It's a boxed Mint N64 game. It's not on display anymore. We'll go through it in the games room. Just have a look at some of the other games here. Fantasy Star for £170. Crazy money. But we're done here. So let's go back to the games room and I'll show you what I got. And we're back. So just came back from CEX, the local game shop, some charity shops and game. And I'm pleased to say that CEX took all of the games and the PSP that I took down there to get their voucher for. So let's have a look at the receipts and let's see how much we've got for each item. We've got 13 pounds for Spiru, which we got for about eight euros over in the Netherlands. We've got Hello Kitty and Friends, which we got five pounds. We paid, I think, two pounds for that at the charity shop, but that came with a free game as well, which was WarioWare. Uh, we've got Ariel's Little Mermaid, which we got two pounds for, which I thought we were only gonna get 164, so that's a little bit better than I thought. We've got 120 for WSC Real, which is the snooker game. Just a pound for Bretts, and we've got six pounds for LMA Manager 2007. And overall on this receipt, roughly we have a profit of around 15 pounds. Here we've got another copy of The Little Mermaid. We've got two pounds on that, only paid two pounds for both of them. So we doubled our money on that. Injustice, we've got four pounds. Evil Within, three pounds. And The Sims 4, just down there, we got six pounds. Now for all together, we paid only three pounds for all of these games. So we made 12 pounds profit. So on the final receipt, we got 53 pounds for the PSP. Unfortunately, they did give me the discounted price as there was a few minor scuff marks on the screen. So they did put it down for that. I only got 63 for that otherwise. So I did lose tenner, but I only paid 18 pounds for it. So I did still make a decent amount of profits, a 35 pound profit on that. I only paid one pounds for the DualShock 2 controller. And that's 12 pounds on that. And Just Dance 2019 only cost me eight as well. So two pound profit on that, which gives me a grand total profit of 48 pounds on this receipt. So as you can see on the PSP, we made 35 pound profit just on the PSP. If there wasn't those little scuff marks on the screen, we would have made £10 more, so we're in £45 profit. However, we did make £2 profit on the Switch game and £11 profit on the controller. So just on that receipt alone, we made £48 profit. We made 15 on the next one, so that's 63 and we made 15 on the one after that, which is £78 total profit just on those games and consoles that I took down to CES to get their exchange. So. We still do have a £75 voucher, which we'll be spending in a future episode. However, I did get a few items from CEX because obviously we didn't just get a £75, £78 pound voucher. We got a lot more than that. That was just the profit that we made. So let's start getting into the pickups now because we've got a fair amount to go through. So I want to start going through the car boot sale pickups first because didn't get that much footage from there so i'm going to show you the footage that i did get now i only got it from one table and that's when i got the just dance so let's take a look at that footage now games and stuff is it how much on this i've got 40 on that 40. Wait, how about on the switch games um so 
30, 25, mm -hmm. 10, mm -hmm. and 20 on gear shifters. That's always sold out everywhere. Gear shifters? It, yeah, it's, it's good, man. It's a game. Really? finished it the other night, so. Hmm. Um, CEX have like two copies. Is it? Just dance. Hmm. Smash Bros. Such a sick game, man. So as you can see, that was the only bit of footage that I got from the midweek boot sale. It was really muddy and it was really quiet, so I didn't think I'd find much, but I ended up finding the PSP and the PS2 controller and these few other pieces that I'm about to show you and just up. So the other pieces that I got are this PlayStation 1 multi-tap. Now this was only a pound. This trades in for two pounds. They sell it for about five pounds in CEX, but you don't really see them that often. And it's in pretty good shape. Works as well, have tested it, and yes, yeah, pretty cool, pretty cool little accessory for the PlayStation 1. Then we have Gran Turismo 2. Uh, I did actually get this from um, a previous Boot Fair episode this year, uh, but that was the Platinum Edition. So this is a normal edition, yeah. I don't think it's complete actually, no. So it doesn't have the manual inside, but again, that was only a pound, and both discs are inside. Uh, we've got My Sims, My Kingdom, that was like 50p, and then we have again WrestleMania X8, which I seem to keep finding, and this is only also just one pound. So those are the boot fair pickups from the midweek. So let's start going through the CEX pickups now. So as I said, I still do have a 75 pound voucher left over, which we'll be sending spending in a future episode. But for now, we'll go through some of the pickups that I've got. So. During the last London gaming market, if you want to see that, I'll link that in the comments below. Uh, I sold a lot of my loose carts, so I wanted to replace them. So first one I've got is Hyperload Runner. Now this is actually quite an uncommon game. It only costs five pounds in CEX, but on eBay it has a regular selling price of between 10 and 15 pounds. And for box copy, you're looking at over, well over 100 pounds. So yeah, Hyperload Runner on the game where I'm not really too sure. I'm pretty sure it's maybe just like a run and gun kind of game, but yeah, I'm not too sure. You let me know in the comments. Uh, we've got an absolute classic, we've got Mario and Yoshi. Again, I think that was five pounds. And we've got Dr. Franken, which I think was six pounds. Again, it's quite an uncommon game. And the, to be fair, I think uh, CX is sending that quite cheap for six pounds. So yeah, really happy with that. So then we have one box N64 game and it's in absolutely mint condition and that is Perfect Dark. From the team who brought you GoldenEye for N64, meet Special Agent Joanna Dark in Perfect Dark. Now, I do have this game in my collection but I don't have it boxed and I don't have it in this kind of condition either. So this would probably be a keeper. That is Perfect Dark on the N64, very similar to GoldenEye in a lot of ways. This came out after GoldenEye and you do require the expansion pack to play it. So yeah, I mean it's very heavy as well, you can feel there's a lot in there. Perfect Dark on the N64. And the last game that we got from CEX with the exchange voucher is Terminator on the MOS system and as you can see that is complete and in very nice condition as well. This is a game I picked up a few times in the past and have sold them at markets so nice to replace and again in fantastic condition. So let's start going through the pickups from a game now and uh, I did see a tweet recently from Slope's Game Room and he was going through all of the games in game saying that they were two for £20 which is a great price and then he was showing that they were all digital codes and I did actually stumble into that. I did stumble into that myself. However, there was one game there that was a physical copy and wasn't a digital download code, and that was two for 20 pounds, and that game is Bayonetta 3 on the Switch. So you see I've got two copies, and they are sealed, and these were essentially 10 pounds each, and that is fantastic. They sell in CX for, I think, 20 pounds each, and they give you 30 in exchange. However, these are sealed, so, Obviously, they'll be going for a bit more than that, but yeah, for just £10 each, very, very happy with that. We did get one more game from the game as well, and that is Galaxy the Void Skulls of the Shogun Bonafide Edition. Now, this is a limited edition game. It is numbered 1284 at the bottom there, yep, out of 5,000. So that was the only reason I picked it up, and it's only £8 as well. So I thought it was a great price, and yeah, it did take a fair bit of digging, in game to find a decently priced game and yeah to get one as a limited edition one as well i thought that was great so yeah just eight pounds on that then we did get a tiger electronics game 
This was only eight pounds, and I thought that was a fantastic price. Obviously, they released these back in the 80s and the 90s as a cheap alternative to um, handheld gaming, but they didn't really, I mean, they did take off in a, in a big way, but they didn't have any kind of last stability power. And yeah, you can kind of, you, can, you do is find sometimes find these at the boot sales, like the older ones, I found the Sonic ones a, uh, the Sonic one a bunch of times, but yeah, it's really cool to get this and in its blister pack as well. So yeah, X-Men Tiger Electronics game. Uh, then we've got all of the pickups to go through from the local game shop. So I've got most of these games, just pay cash for them. You know, it's good to go support your local game shop when you can. I can't remember exactly how much to pay for all of them, so let's just go through them all. So first, we've got a loose cart at Super Mario Land. Absolute classic, one of my favorite Game Boy games of all time. We have Crash 2 on the Game Boy Advance. We've got two N64 memory cards, one official and one unofficial. We have an N64 Rumble Pack, and I think inside it, there's, I think there is actually a little bit of corrosion, but hopefully I will be able to get that off with some isopropyl alcohol. Uh, we've got Ballistic on the PlayStation 1. Game I've never really heard of before, but it's in really nice condition. It's complete as well, so it's part of the value series, so it's probably not the best game, but yeah, Ballistic on the PlayStation 1. We've got an absolutely amazing DS game now, and that is Zelda and the Phantom Hourglass. Now that was 15, so it's they sell for sell it for 22 in CEX and it has an average selling price of about 22 to 25 on eBay. So I thought 15 pounds was a pretty good price, so I picked that one up. Then we've got some one pound and two pound games here. We've got Ghost Recon, Future Soldier on the PlayStation 3. We've got Lair on the PlayStation 3, which is two pounds. Uh, Uncharted 3. Yeah, that was only two pounds. We've got PlayStation 5 game, Mortal Kombat 11 Ultimate. That was a tenner, and then we've got Lord of the Rings, the two towers, just a pound. Got a couple more, Star Trek, Shattered Universe, and then we have a Final Fantasy 13 on the Xbox 360. All of them complete and nice on edition. So now, with the last part, we're going to go through are the games from the charity shop. So, so this is dragging on a little bit. I promise you, I will be done very soon. We're going to go through charity shop. So. We have Mortal Kombat X on the PC. Now this is a game that I've never really seen in the wild before. It's only a pound. Um, it's still taped down from the charity shop. I haven't even opened it yet, but yeah, I'm guessing it is in there. So Mortal Kombat X. Then we've got Lego Batman on the PlayStation 3. I think that was 150, yeah. We've got, oh, this is actually, these two are from the game shop as well. We've got Final Fantasy HD Type O, and we've got Tom Clancy's The Division. Next we've got Lego Worlds, that was only £1.50 from the charity shop. Then we've got four games that were, well it was, free, it was four for a pound, but there was only three games, I put one DVD in there as well. So we've got Hannah Montana on DS, Disney Sing It. Now if you actually have the microphones with this, they're actually trading for £8. So if you ever do see PlayStation 3 microphones and you've got it signed back in your collection, highly recommend you trading it in. Then we've got Rayman Raving Rabbits 2, and we have the wrestler, Mickey Rourke. So that is it for my pickups from all of those locations, CEX, game, charity shops, and a little game shop. And yeah, managed to get quite a bit, and I'm actually really happy because we still got a 75 pound voucher to spend at CEX, and yeah, uh, looking forward to spending that in the future episode as well. So if you enjoyed that, hit that like button, consider subscribing, I'll see you.